I call Marie Todd to be followed by Lewis MacDonald. Ms Todd. Thank you, Presiding Officer. I'm delighted to be part of this Parliament speaking here for the first time today. Like several of my Conservative colleagues, I too feel surprised at having gained entry to this chamber, but for different reasons, I'm sure. When I was a wee girl growing up in Ullapool, the Scottish Parliament had not yet reconvened and politicians were distant and different from me, from me. I was thinking about that the week before the election when I was travelling from Gearloch for a public meeting and passed the very beautiful Loch Marie, which I was named after. Later, on my way round the coast to Ullapool, I passed the big house at Grinyard where my granny was a servant before she married my granda, who was a joiner. My other granny from Lewis was a herring wifey, and she was fiercely proud until the day that she died that she was never in service. Those were the only two careers open to her. Instead, she followed the fishing all around the coast of Britain and spent long, hard days gutting and salting the silver darlings far from home. Her husband, my granda, was a whaler, and he travelled the world for work. You see, the story of migration to find work is part and parcel of my family history. Indeed, it's part of most families whose history lies in the Highlands and Islands. Families migrated and women worked. Normal, not something invented in the 21st century. By the time I finished school, I had a lot more options than both my grannies did. Girls can do anything now. Of course, I still had to move away to study science at university, but my pharmacy degree meant I could at least come back to the Highlands, if not quite back home to Aleppo. Presiding officer, like so many of my colleagues here in this chamber, I am deeply grateful for the educational opportunities I have had, and I'm proud that here in Scotland we recognise and nurture talent, regardless of our background, focusing only on the value that educated citizens bring to our nation. It's a huge privilege for me to represent the Highlands and Islands. I have a passion for this part of the world. My constituency is enormous, stretching from Kintyre in the south to Shetland in the north, from the Western Isles across to Murray. It covers nearly half the landmass of Scotland and is stunningly beautiful packed with lochs, mountains and islands. These vast distances and wild terrain can make delivering healthcare a challenge. The fact that our young people leave to study and find work and older people come to retire is another one. All of us living there want fast access to treatment as close to home as possible. But modern healthcare has become more and more specialised and travelling to centres of excellence can mean exhausting journeys and isolation from families and friends. Technology will be vital to service improvement, but we must make sure that it doesn't just replace face-to-face -face contact, but actually enhances it. The challenges we face in the Highlands mean we need to think clever, deliver in partnership, and fully develop and use the whole multidisciplinary team's skills. This will enable us to improve both quality and efficiency. The Highlands and Islands was the first region to integrate health and social care in Scotland, and we're using that advantage to look ahead at new delivery mechanisms. Health, as others have said today, is about so much more than just treating illness. Social care, housing and education are vital to good health. Health inequality is closely related to wealth inequality. But how we deliver health can have an impact on this. There are already examples of new partnerships and collaborations happening that include working with communities and creating employment and training opportunities while improving service delivery. I have worked as a clinical pharmacist in mental health for 20 years. And I am fiercely proud of what the SNP have accomplished since being in charge. The spending commitment in mental health and the long-term planning will help us to achieve parity with physical health. 
My colleagues in the pharmacy at New Craig's Hospital in Inverness have embraced Prescription for Excellence and are working hard to get their expertise in choosing the right medicine out of the hospital and into the community where most of our patients are. Soon, all of the clinical pharmacists will be prescribers and they're developing a pilot scheme to work part-time with community mental health teams and GP practices to improve the speed of access to specialist care and to improve the quality of prescribing. We need to build on these types of examples and deliver the services that people want where they want them. The job of government is not to micromanage the health service from the centre, but to create the circumstances which empowers people and communities to find their own solutions. With this government in power, I know we can do this.